Okay, this is a little video I wanted to make about some uh, reclaimed wood that I bought maybe a couple years ago. It's been like sitting on my, you know, over here in my wood stash. I get some other good stuff here. But I, I had a whole bunch of this that I bought originally. Uh, basically, it came off um, an old lady's property. She had an old house and a barn that um, she had destroyed. Or, yeah, they basically tore it down and reclaimed all the lumber. But, um, so, let me show you what it is. This wood is over 100 years old. Um, you can see that these boards were basically hand worked. Um, I've ran this one through my, through my, uh, planer. So it's, it's pretty smooth on this side. But you can, I'll show you, uh, this one here, it's got worm holes in it, which believe it or not, a lot of people like for um, like to make furniture that looks a little bit throwback or old. Um, so these little worm holes are actually sought after. But you can see, let me turn it over this way, how it, it's got a lot of like saw marks on it. And this wood's old, the way you could tell is that it kind of has almost a husk on it for lack of a better description you can kind of really get a good view of it right now but basically as it oxidizes over time um i guess the grains kind of pop out and it it um uh, it basically um it gets kind of fuzzy and it's a really easy to get a splinter on this stuff but you can see the saw marks in here but what was weird to me is um, supposedly all this wood was pine. And so I've been working on it. Some of it is really, really pitchy. Sorry, I'm just pouring it. Some of it's really pitchy, and it is to the point that it, like, put, pushing a board or two through the, uh, the planer, for example, it would coke the blades up with resin to the point that it wouldn't cut anymore, and you have to almost take the thing apart, wash everything down with acetone before you did anything else, just because... It just, um, there's so much pitch in it. And then other boards like this, this one here, you can see it's pretty fair grain. There's not a lot of knots and there's not a lot of pitch in the, uh, in the wood. Um, it's easy to work with. You can cut it. It cuts like butter. I'm sure this one here will cut pretty easy. You can see there's a lot of pitch in certain areas of it, but it's washed out in others. And like I said, these. These little wormholes are kind of reduce the, uh, I don't know. It just kind of makes the, the board a little bit lightweight. But what was weird was this one here, uh, it just seemed like really heavy. In fact, this board originally when I first uh, had it, it like you really couldn't tell what the, like if they're all the same species or not. I imagine back in the day, they probably just used like whatever they could get or maybe they even cut the wood on the property. And, um, and so they didn't probably didn't care whether it was oak or pine or what, but, um, and so I didn't really didn't even know what it was, but it was really heavy. Uh, this board here probably weighed about 37, 38 pounds when I first got it, uh, for a board that big, um, you can see I've planed this down to about an inch and a half, which is about the size of thickness of a two by four. Uh, but when I originally got it, it was um, somewhere around two inches. And I'll show you this one here and you can kind of get a good look on it. And this is really what drew me to it because I knew right away by looking at it that it was uh, not something that came out of a hardware store for sure. But you see that width, like a, like I said, a regular two by four is, um, it's not really two inches wide. It's an inch and a half. And so you can see that's a... That is really two inches wide. So anyway, um, so I guess the whole reason I did this video is basically to explain that this board right here, which I've labeled as board A, this one I labeled as board B, and this one board C, this guy here. Um, this board is ridiculously heavy and you could just feel the density of it compared to the other two. And so I started Thinking, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was cypress at first. And so what I did was I uh, 
I measured it and then I weighed it and then compared the densities of these two. I got some weird results. Uh, first of all, the published um, density for pine is somewhere between uh, 22 and 31, um, 31 pounds per uh, cubic foot. And then um, the weird thing is, is that this one here is somewhere, it's about uh, 54 pounds per cubic foot. Uh, so anyway, I started looking, trying to figure out what it was. It looks like pond. I was thinking initially it might be cypress or something just because it's so pitchy and um, heavy. But uh, it turns out the density for cypress is probably around the same as pine. So I didn't, it, it looks like pine to me though. Uh, let me turn it over so you can get a better look at this uh, I mean, it clearly is pine. Uh, so I um, looked around a little bit and I was able to find one species of pine called uh, pitch pine. And uh, which was kind of uh, another variety. But it's weird that it it's almost double the density as, as the... Uh, quote unquote garden variety that they usually use for lumber. And in fact, it said that um, they, in colonial times, they burned most of the wood um, because the wood was usually grown on uh, ground that's really sandy and full of ore. And so they would cut the trees down and use the, uh, the trees as fuel to smelt the ore into iron and make weapons with and stuff like that. So anyways, um, like I said, this here, I believe it's pitch pine, unless anybody else um, has any other information. Like I said, this one comes in at uh, 53.7 pounds per cubic foot. This guy here is 40.09, which still is pretty high for pine. Like I said, pine usually ranges from 22 to 31. Um pounds per cubic foot and this guy here I really don't know what to, what to make of this because honestly I think all these this has a little bit of rot to it and you can see all the little worm holes and I'm guessing there was probably some um, density reduction as a result of that it goes all the way through the board but um, this one was 30.64 and uh, which is in the range roughly of Pine. Uh, the high end was 31 so it was kind of a, a strange deal because like I said it, at the beginning when I had this it has this husk on it and you really couldn't tell what it looked like underneath so I just I've been kind of wondering what it was for a while and today I just ran it through the planter for the first time to see I was expecting it to be something different like oak or uh, walnut or something heavy but uh, no it looks like pine's just really heavy Anyway, uh, that's all I got. I appreciate it. If anybody has anything to add or some uh, different explanation of what I came up with, let me know. Thanks. Bye.